Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, I am calling you in this hour to draw closer to me. Yes, you must start to seek me above all else. For I will be found, yes, for when you get so desperate for me, I shall be found by you, my child. Yes, when you search for me, when you seek after me with all of your heart, yes, I shall be found by you. For I am here, standing at the door of your heart, knocking, waiting for you. And if you will hear my voice and open the door of your heart, I will come in and eat with you. Yes, I will dine with you and commune with you, my child. For when I call you to deeper intimacy with me, I will also challenge the comfort zone of your flesh. But when you seek me, you shall find me. When you ask, you shall receive. When you knock, the door shall be open to you. Yes, for I have promised that I will come in and eat with you. Yes, as you abide in me, I will abide in you, my child. My invitations are being sent to many within this hour to come, buy and eat. And though you have no money, still I beckon you to come, that you may be filled with my presence. Are you tired, my child? Are you worn out? Or maybe you are even feeling burnt out or dry on the inside. But I beckon you you to just come to me. Yes, get away and be alone with me and you will recover your life. Yes, I will bring a times of refreshing for your soul. And when you truly seek after me with a relentless heart, yes, I will show you great and mighty things for which you did not know before. I will show you how to take a real rest in the shadows of my presence. Therefore, Walk with me today. Yes, work with me today and watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of my grace that ripples in a pool and gives a crystal clear effect. I will not lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you, my child. So come to me today and lay all those heavy burdens that you have carried for way too long. Learn to keep company with me each and every day, and you will learn to live freely and lightly. For whenever my spirit comes, there is liberty and there is freedom, and whoever I have set free is free indeed. I will call you to go deeper so that you can go higher in me. Is there a holy dissatisfaction within you today? Are you dissatisfied today? Then it is time to seek me to soak in my presence. Learn to extend your time of prayer and worship to me, and you will see this revival that is coming. You will see the signs, the wonders, the healings spoken about in my word. Are you hungry for me? Are you hungry enough to sacrifice yourselves on the altar today? Yes, my child, are you willing to pay the price? to pay the price that my presence may come and pour out upon all flesh within this hour, upon your loved ones, upon your churches, upon those around you. I desire for my revival to come, but are you hungry and thirsty after me? For your hunger will determine your visitation. Do you hunger for me like never before? It is time for you to stir up your hunger for me and the things of the Spirit, and you shall see great and mighty things for which are about to be released upon the earth. Therefore, be at peace and come to me with all of your burdens today, and I shall give you rest. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says, according to Matthew 5, verse 6, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Are you hungry and thirsty for more in your life? If so, then come to Jesus and drink of his presence and let the rivers flow.
See, I hear these same words coming from the lips of the remnant church that knows we need more of God. There seems to be a great hunger for a mighty move of God. And I believe that we are coming down to the last of the last days. Jesus is coming soon to snatch his bride away. And I believe that the bride of Christ must be about making herself ready to meet the bridegroom. Are you hungry today for a mighty move of God? Because I know I am. I'm starving for a fresh anointing of power from on high. I need God today more than I did yesterday. I am blessed and I was blessed yesterday, but I want to walk. I don't want to walk with God just yesterday. I want to see him today and I want to anticipate something greater is coming. See, it's my prayer that the Lord would fill his house, not just the building of brick and mortar, but his house of flesh where the spirit dwells. Fill this cup, Lord. We lift up the Lord today. Come and quench this thirsting within our souls. We need bread from heaven. Feed us with bread from heaven till we want no more. Stir up within us, O oh Lord, the fullness of your Holy Spirit. Help us to grow in our relationship with the third person of the Godhead and to live in his power and to use his giftings. O oh Lord, we pray. You have promised us the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, as you said in your word in John 14, 26, who will teach you all things and will remind you of everything that I have said to you. Help us to remember that we don't know everything and that it is okay because the Holy Spirit understands it all. Fill us with the Holy Spirit and with his understanding of everything that is happening within our lives. We hunger for more of your presence, Lord Jesus, and we hunger for more of the Holy Spirit of the living God within our lives today. Fill us today. Please come and flood every vessel, every person that is listening today and flood every well with inside of us. Any area that hasn't been filled, change the atmosphere around us. Touch the hearts of each person today in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord. Let your plans be done within our life. Let your will be established and in the lives of all of our loved ones. Lord, I pray that you would come and touch us from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, and we thank you for what you're doing and what you will establish within the hearts of each person today. Those that are hungering, those that are thirsting after to your presence. You are the comforter, O Holy Spirit. Help us to let go of the losses within our life. Heal our hearts today and help us to face Lord, any challenges that we may challenge today, we know that you are with us. Comfort us and all those who mourn today, who need forgiveness, those that have lost their loved ones, come and comfort them today. Lord, I pray that you would touch us from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. Lord, we know that you have freely, Lord, given yourself to us, Lord Jesus, that we may have life and life in abundance. But Lord, I pray for each person that is suffering today. Lord, with life's hurts, wounds, sufferings, trials and difficulties. Lord, I pray that you would come and strengthen them. You would come and heal the inner man today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would come and touch and help each person that needs helping today. You will touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Lord, that you will bring revival in this end time hour like never before as each person seeks your faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I just have some words of knowledge here uh, for someone that is listening right now. There is um, a lady uh, in the reproductive area of a lady 
Um, there is an issue with odor and itching. So if that's related to you, that's personal. Lord, I pray that you would come and bring healing to that area of odor and itching right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that you would just come and touch that person right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. There's also another person with an area of a foot. I just saw a foot. So Lord, I pray whatever that issue is with a foot, Lord, that you'll bring healing to that area of the foot right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, the Lord is also speaking to someone with a mass muscle spasm. There is someone that has a muscle spasm right now. I just want you to place your hand uh, upon that area of the spasm. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that body will come under the perfect design of God and that spasm will stop now in the name of Jesus Christ. I also want someone to place their hands upon their hair. If you have a hair issue right now, this particular time, the Lord has saw, saw someone placing their hand on their hair. So if you place your hand on your hair right now, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever that issue is, maybe it's hair loss, whatever that hair issue is, that you, it's a personal thing that you've been praying for. God has got going to come and respond to that area right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and touch that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So may the Lord bless you and touch you and each person, whatever condition, whatever situation you have. So Holy Spirit, I pray that you will come and touch each person today. Whatever they are passing through, you are more than enough for each person's needs. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance, we encourage you also uh, to subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, or go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. Precious saints, if you have not already done so, you can join one of our WhatsApp groups for your nation that we may stand in the gap on behalf of you and your nation to see God bring this end time repentance revival. Precious saints, this revival is coming. And though it may look bleak within the nations, as it says, according to Isaiah chapter 60, it says, arise and shine for the glory of the Lord shall rise upon you. Even though darkness covers the earth and gross darkness, the people, the glory of the Lord is coming and everybody will see the this revival? Will there be retaliation from the enemy? Will there be people of jealousy? Will there be people that will try to attack it? Of course there will. But this is the end time revival to prepare the bride for the groom that is coming in the snatching away of the glorious bride of Christ. Precious saints, this is time for us to press in. We're about to head back to Africa in August by God's grace, and we're going to do a tour throughout Africa to believe that God is going to bring this end time revival. Then I'm going to also go to other nations as the Lord opens the doors. So as we're praying for through your WhatsApp group, I'm telling you, the people that are in the WhatsApp group are the people that I'm going to go and connect to in those nations. I'm not interested in big churches, open doors. I'm not interested in Christian television, Christian radio. Those things do not bother me, saints. God is going to use the humble people. God is going to use the people that desire God. And you guys are the ones that are being connected. So as you join these groups, know that God is looking from heaven and he is looking at our stature as we position our hearts and say, God, we want revival to come to our nations. Precious saints, tomorrow starts the three-day fasting dealing with the generation spirits. This is an opportunity for you to press in. This is an opportunity to you to invite someone. Get your families involved so that we may press in and deal with those generational spirits. And also, we can see this end time revival 
come to the nation. So I don't know about you, but I'm excited for what God is going to do within these end times, precious saints. Let's press in because the Lord is about to bring breakthrough in your home. Let us press in together. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.